White Cheddar goes, this is a, a very experienced team. Uh, I'm personally, we're both personally close with Rap and Eris, Rapture and Eris. Um, they've been competitive players for years. I think Boeing has been around. Boeing's been around about three. I think Boeing got his start here. Funny enough. Wow. Yeah. But I know. I think you said he he develops pretty Boeing's quickly. Boeing's pretty good these days. And I'm not too familiar with flats, but I mean. That is a B rank. <laughs> hey, but a B rank that I lost to four times, yeah. got knocked out most of it. Any, anyways, anyways, I'm not having PTSD flash. Anyways, game one here, uh, Sturgeon. What is it? Zones. Sturgeon zones. So. What's interesting about this is Eris is going E-Leader, and I know Eris hates this map, and doesn't usually go E-Leader here, but maybe knows that the double spotlight combo is a thing, probably wants to counter it. Yeah, we have talked about that non-stop. Um, starting off here, it looks like two down right away, both front lines on Fortune side. Boeing with a heavy spotlight, now going to push up pretty far, and uh, that means those, those back lines are going to have to run, and it's going to be really hard for them to get back in. Good pressure on their spotlights. Ooh, wow. really nice positioning from Boeing, and... and Knowing exactly where Rakesh is going to be. Uh, Rakesh got greedy. Yeah, for sure. One just uncontested in the zone. Yeah, they're pushed. The other team's pushing really heavy on right. We can't see too much going on, but we know Eris is pushed up there. Eris, uh, if, if you're peeking Eris, you, there's a there's a good shot you're going to get shot if he's not in the pressure. Um, good. Right. Yeah, good shot from Rakesh pushing uh, with his teammate there. Um, caught going while he was trying to run away, and now. Uh, this is an opportunity for Fortunes here. They do have half the zone painted. Rapture did nice. go down. Oh, they, yeah, nice. Fortune. You know what else they do well? They stick together. Yeah, for sure. Which, considering they just met half an hour ago. Yeah, then that's how we saw them take zone. Like I said, they kind of pushed together. That, that helped them get Boeing out. Yeah, wrap down. Yeah, so it's a 3-3 situation right here. We do have um, the end zap here on the right side. Flats helping paint the zone. Pushing with his teammate, trying to put pressure on this on the E leader right now and camping the jump. We do see on the left side as well. They were able to push Ares back, jumping yeah. out. Chins and uh, Flats working well hard. together. Got, got the flank. Little payoff. Oh. Ooh. They're looking hot right now. Yeah. Two more down. It's only uh, Ares with the wave breaker ready, but Rapture as well. Um, but the thing with wave wave breaker is you can't really if you're not close, it's not going to do anything. So they don't have a lot of specials to help them get in. Eris trying to use it on the on the left side here just to get out of pressure. Oh. Uh, Flats, I don't think Flats has died in a while. Yeah, Flats is doing his thing. Oh, gets the kill on Eris too. That was beautiful. Flats is smurfing. Oh, you think? That's a B rank you said? I don't look like I a B rank. They take the lead. Did we grab the B or the C? We grabbed the B. That's a C That's rank. That's a C rank. Oh, dude, I made a mistake. We got finessed. We got owned, dude. We got owned. <laughs> 10 seconds left with the zone here. Uh, we got the pers perspective of our church trying to jump in, but if they don't get paint down right now, they oh, do, are contested? stalling it, but they lose three. Two, it's two only Rapturo, that uh, crab. The wow. crab on the left side, I think, really helped out there. Uh, I think that's Baki on the crab with the splash. Baki with the crab is very accurate. He's actually oh, really that. impressive, yeah. yeah. Um, wow, so the first game here going to Fortunes, which, like, like we said, Age Shatter has the background of three long established like pretty competitive players plus flats who we uh or i'm sorry plus uh who's the fourth flats oh was i mixing up the teams probably or n n oh i was mixing up the teams oh yeah i am too oh the end zap we were watching was chins oh so so okay, okay my mistake i'm sorry right. everyone chins was the end zap um so the first game went to four chins and chins was the end zap we were watching so chins was looking real good on that end zap very impressed if you really think about it, all these teams have four chins. <laughs> <sighs> Look, James. Yeah, what's up? I don't know if I want to do this anymore. <laughs> you breaking out with me? <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking the kids. <laughs> all right, I get the house. <laughs> <laughs> all right, looks like we're going to Tower Control Mako, which um, we had the honor of losing to them on, huh? Yeah, I so think Age we did White that. Cheddar, yeah, Age White Cheddar took, or we took them to this map, and we got absolutely kind of smashed. It wasn't even close. It was about a two-minute game, and got to pack up and come here. Worst two minutes of my life. So, um, <laughs> <laughs> you don't like Double Clash? No, that is true. That was fun. Thank you. So, um, Age White Cheddar here, uh, going with something they have some experience with. So I like that from a pickup standpoint. When you know, when you're a team that is just meeting each other and, and just starting to, you know, trying to click together. 
they have at least that advantage of we've played this map once before in our lives, this map mode. Yep. Well, uh, Aris and Rap played in a beacon together. Well, I forgot about that. Yeah, I tried to. But, you know, as a whole team, as a yeah. <laughs> I tried to. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, so I'm really I'm really impressed with Fortunes. I, I did not expect them to be this good, and, and they're taking it to really established players here. Um, I don't think they really have a weak link. I think they, they know what they want to do, yeah. and especially when they get to control, that's at, when they're at their strongest. They know how to get long pushes by locking out with the um, with the back lines, the two, the two splatlings, and then Chins and, and Baki both push really well together. Like you said, they stick yeah. together a lot. They kind of get up in the, in the really? guts. I actually meant the two splatlings stick together. Yeah. Both of them, to be honest. I yeah. mean, we saw, we saw um, the pressure from Chins and Baki, and, and when you have those two going in, they're, they're doing smart playing, smart pressure, where they're not really exposing themselves to much danger, and they're, they're getting fixed together. That's letting the, the Spidelings Baki and Chins completely lock definitely out. definitely have the synergy, because if I'm correct, I believe they're brothers. So, oh, yeah. wow. That's very cool. So we got the brothers working together, and then the Spidelings in the back, and are already they're making a push. They're already uh, past the first checkpoint. And making it already to the second checkpoint already. Rapture is going to blow the tower to stall for now. They got both Spilings down. Page White Cheddar only running one back line this time. Yep. Um, they have the Blaster and Slosh Machine combo, which should be pretty strong on paper. Eris with a big snipe on the Hydra there. Apple Boom. She broke up the Hydra? That's an interesting... I mean, uh, the Fling's up. That's an interesting pick. Oh, yeah, that would be... That would be uh, um, Chin on the flames there. So missile spam, I think, probably for the E leader, I would that say, is, is, a, is a big uh, big benefit there. Uh, but we got Age White Cheddar pushing through this first checkpoint and barely not getting it so far, but still uh, we see Flats there just actually playing really smart on the tower. Living. Yeah, dodged a lot there, and, and it seems that, I don't know if, if uh, they, the other team thought that he backed off tower, but he, he stayed on, and yeah. they got past the first checkpoint, but the pushes seems to be stopped for now. Yeah, they just have to hope to not wipe here. And they lose three as I say that. <laughs> as long as Aeris stays up, jump marker. Yeah, I mean, Aeris did back up safely. Chin's not yeah, gonna play, or, or Baki here, not gonna put too much pressure on. Gonna, you know, off to play it safe so that the tower can at least move up a bit. Baki's watching the right for the flanks. You don't know your direction, James? Well, he, he was when I started talking, when he moved. Ah, uh, well. I don't believe you. We can watch the vlog. <laughs> well, look at this uh, sneaky, sneaky play from from Baki here, but unfortunately, Rapture helping Eris out. But look at the maneuvers. Unfortunately, the mine's going to take Baki out, so good for Eris. Good mine placement to protect himself, and uh, Rapture helping his teammate out as well. Which Cheddar gets tower. Yeah, getting the uh, Hydra, you know, who I'm not sure why they're pressuring tower like that. I have no idea. Kind of a hard choice for, for Hydra to rush tower, but it does not work out in, in her favor. And, and this is uh, most likely going to be lead here. The ink strike's coming up with a lot of pressure. Two people riding tower to make it go even faster, and they are going to get that lead. There's a lot to begin from splitting up those splatlings. Yeah, when they don't, when they're not able to watch each other's backs, uh, you know that that's a lot more room for them to be pressured. And, and I mean, if they're not working together, it seems like they're kind of just yeah. falling apart. But, but they right already from Age White Cheddar. It's not over yet. Yeah, so Fortune is gonna have to try to make the comeback here. Six points is a big push to make, especially I feel like it's really hard to do. I mean, when they get the control, they're really powerful, but. But moving up with two spotlings is a hard task. That is true. But Baki playing really well. They're getting a nice pick on Rapture. That was two down. Um, so Fortune really does have an opportunity to push. And looks like they're trying to really take Mad before they get the, power, the tower moving. <laughs> Big crab. Big I told crab. you Baki's nasty. Yeah. It complements the spotlings well. I mean, usually on defense, but it's working out here. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's just like a, another threat. Like, crab is almost like a third spotling, but it's like yeah. one that is not going to be pushed back as easily because it's just a tank. Um, unfortunately, though, Fortunes did have two good on here, and the ink strike is going to slow that tower more. Uh, Chin, uh, Baki actually going to opt to jump out there, kind of reset, try to just keep mid. They don't want to, they don't want to get too much map control loss here because they only have a minute left. If they have to fight for mid, that's going to waste a lot of their time. Inching slowly. Ooh, really good, uh, really good from uh, Apple Boom there. That rapid thought they had the range, but they did not, and 
Abu was quick to turn on him. And two more down. Three more down. Looks like Fortune's making in one last push. So we got the perspective of the Hydra here riding tower, so we're going to be able to see all the action. Oh. But Eris with the big peak. I don't know how I don't know how people can do that because you can just hide yourself so well and then bam, you're dead the next second. You don't even see it coming. Eris repositioning a little bit just to stay safe, stay alive. That's really really important, really smart in this part. Because they just have to defend the tower, you know. They don't have to yeah. they don't have to push though. He's just gonna stay safe, do his thing. Yeah, constantly repositioning, constantly making sure that the team is not getting to him, getting a use of pick on him. Is that the last one on tower? The Booyah is uh, going to get two place from Retro, and then the Wipeouts to seal the deal. Just wow. digging the knife in, twisting it around, doing disgusting, dirty things live on the stream. Yeah, we have one in the world. <laughs> <laughs> so 1-1 one, one here now. Uh, Age White Shadow, they have matching. Oh, no. Two That's of them have matching banners. The other two look kind of similar. Yeah, I, I noticed that when we played them. They're all dark. All like gray. Yeah, all like uh, monochromatic kind of going on, you know. I love the circle it throws you into. It's really cute. Honestly, yeah. Appleboom hates it. Appleboom's out of there. <laughs> she got like, social anxiety or something. She's harassing balloons. All right, Chris is out of there too. Oh, they're slowly all dissolving the circle. <laughs> but yeah, one, one tied up. So uh, the first set, that's not going to be a sweep because we're not playing. We don't have to keep reminding the, the viewers of that it, it can. I I have trauma. I ha I I I'm not I can't your bottle it up. I can't I'm, bottle I'm it up. I'm not your therapist. What am I on this couch for then? <laughs> I thought this was therapy. No, this is live streamed. This is live stream. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Waiting to see the counter pick from Fortunes. I'm expecting. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if it's zones again, just because they're able to hold that one objective. They don't have to move. They could just sit. The, the game plan for them, once they get control, is, you know, the spilings are able to control the zone so well, and, and Chen and, and uh, Baki can just go in and do their thing. So They have the better painting. Team, oh, I just realized sure. they, can't, they can't go back to spots on this last mode they want. That is the so rules. So I'm kind of an idiot. There are rules. We didn't really have to worry about that. <laughs> yeah, we didn't really ever think about winning, so yeah. the counter pick was always just whatever we wanted. We're career commentators, you know? Yeah, that's true. I'm yeah. actually uh, – I've never played Splatoon before today. I don't own a Switch. <laughs> yeah. I was actually borrowing Mushi's controller. I had a Wii U, but never bought Splatoon. It's more of a more of a zombie you guy. <laughs> Yo. Zombie you I actually banged. Dude, I bought a Wii U day one. Me too. I for zombie me, you. I don't know why I did that. How unfortunate. I don't know why I did it. I don't know why. I waited in a line at like a target. I don't think I did. I think I just showed up at a GameStop and they were like, Do you want this? <laughs> <laughs> they were like, please take it. They're the only GameStop that knew that that was gonna yeah. be a flop. Why did they name it Wii U, man? Yeah, it's Does not, anybody know? Can they, did anybody do the math on that? They're dumb. Rainmaker. It's my marketing analysis. Rainmaker and Eeltail. We lost them there. They're just, <laughs> just <laughs> replaying maps. That yeah, these teams are playing the ma the few maps that they have experienced as a team on, which is cool. As a double backline, it's hard to counter pick another double backline. Because that's, that's the main thing you would want to focus on. Although Age of White Shatter hasn't gone double backline yet. This uh, That is true. Um, honestly, this map in particular, I think, is really good for double backline, though. Yeah, Eel Tail is kind of when you're on like the the top layer, someone basically has to engage you on the top layer. Yeah, which is so out of or the find way. a way to flank. But this map does not have easy flanks. Yeah. So honestly, this is a hard map to get to those spot links for. I think Eris is gonna have to do a lot of work, or the specials are gonna really have to be coordinated to to disrupt the back lines if they do get control. I think Eris drops a forty bomb. On this thing, 40 player. bomb, yeah, in, no doubt. In five minutes, and then does a Fortnite without hits. overtime in, in like two minutes, easy two knockout, minutes, yeah, easy knockout, 40 kills. Yeah, I don't, I don't even know if that's mathematically possible, like with the respawn timer. I don't know math. He, he runs respawn punisher, so you gotta mm. adjust for that. 39. 30, 39. <laughs> mm. Oh, I, I feel like e leader is just very powerful. You, say you don't know how to do math? No, <laughs> I have computers. What, what. What? But if if I wipe the floor with those spotlings on this map, Eris does that easy. True. But you whipped out the E-leader on this map, and you got like nine kills. It was just the rest of us that flopped. 
Yeah. So that, I think that, the other team is going to be very scared of Aeris. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's, you're that's right. what I mean. Aeris wins yeah. the four. Yeah, yeah, okay. That makes sense. So. Thank you. Stream? Yeah. Air, we're on Aeris Watch. Hashtag Aeris Sweep. All right, let's Riptide get back viewers ending. know. Riptide viewers know. There's a history of Aeris Sweep. Never watched this Splatoon stream in my life. <laughs> Aeris is going splatling? That's weird. What? We just had a whole conversation. What's going on? We're in a we're in the Twilight Zone or something. I feel like they didn't account for the map well enough. I, I would like agree. It more Maybe it's because it's Rainmaker. I know Aeris. Mm. Uh, this is probably the most often mode where Aeris switches off the leader. I would say. Right. That makes sense. Couple, uh, couple picks. One pick on each side uh, early on, but the Rapids playing really aggressive. Um, only up to the spot shot right now. Who does hang on? Finds two Ooh. picks. Very nice gaming. Ooh, However, the God. bomb takes out the Trizuga, thankfully for Baki. Um, so disaster crisis is averted. Now oh, Baki playing really aggressive. This time it's a Rainmaker splash that gets him. Uh, yeah, definitely uh, probably not the most smart special players. <laughs> Early Booyah Bomb to disrupt those splatlings, try to get a push going, I think. Uh, really like the pressure. Uh, the, the, yeah, the Fizzy getting a kill there. I really like the pressure with the kit, Rapture, as you knowing uh, his kit very well. Okay. Uh, Best kit in the game? Yeah, honestly, Machine just does things. It's one of the few weapons in this game that has a kit that lets it just do anything it wants. Yeah, maybe the only, you could argue. It's Yeah, it's it's really up there. Um, that and, like, I feel like Splash is probably like, the other best kit in the game. Yeah, that's fair. So, uh, but honestly, no big push, push yet. Uh, both teams playing very cautiously so far, waiting for that one yeah. big opening, which I think is smart. Because on once, honestly, once you do get a push going on this map, it's very easy to snowball. Right. Two downs, two dead on Fortune side. We do, or uh, on out on H Cheddar side actually. But Raptura still providing the pressure despite the, you know, despite being down a couple teammates. And the booyah bomb. Yeah, Raptura is just getting away with anything he wants right now. Look at him, he's on the pedestal here, and they don't even have Rainmaker yet. Three down, only the Hydra alive. Apple Boom going to be forced to back up. Probably not going to be able to defend that checkpoint. I mean, nice she's down. trying. I'm surprised she looked for that long. Two Ooh, kills double. there. And a the three, triple. the triple for the Rapid. Get the, get, um, get the quad, get the quad. Now, please. Not too far away. I'm sure he's scared. <laughs> I'm sure he's shaking in his boots right now, I know it. But very good, very good, very good to uh, stop that push. Because, like I said, this map is really quick to snowball on. And uh, if, if you make a couple wrong plays, the game could have been over just like that. Good control from Fortune. Pushing in with the Wave Breaker. Yeah, but Age White Cheddar already getting three kills in a row there and forcing the last one back. A good pop. Yeah, really good retake of mid. Uh, you know, Already put, just sneaking the Rainmaker by. Now, they, they know the Rapid doesn't kill that fast if you're not getting direct, so they just snuck it by. Forcing Apple Moon to come get the kill, but Apple Moon goes down. We see uh, Boeing pushed up really far there. Does go down, but again, they're, they're, on both sides. they're kind of just putting on that smart pressure. Just forcing an objective over and over again. You know what's another strong thing about the double spiling cop? Tell me. Very hard to pop the bubble when they're shooting at it. That's true. We, I think, didn't get a pop for like an entire in game. Yeah, they were multiple kills from the pops too. We I, lost so much map control from I, it. Yeah, and we didn't have a great painting comp to begin with. So. That is true. Uh, but, I mean, honestly, uh, Age White Cheddar is not struggling too much with that. They, they've been really smart about the way they've been taking map. Um, you know, not overextending and... and uh, like I said, the kit, the way that they're using their bombs, their specials, is really letting them push back a lot. But it's a 2v2 situation. Uh, only the heavy up now. Actually, the ends up just went down. Um, but they're still trying to push objective. I don't think that was the right timing at all. Um, most of your teammates went down. The heavy was able to set up and uh, just be completely safe. By the way, I realized this was going on the spot, and I think uh, Aeris is on the spotter shot. Oh. So Aeris is the one gaming. I know Aeris does tend to, uh, when when he does switch off the other, he's doing spider shots. So. Going often to get that Wavebreaker down in mid. Um, push, pushing up with his teammates. So maybe not getting too far. I don't know what just a Wavebreaker is getting there, Kel. Good special. It's powerful on this map, especially. Yeah. That's a big wide open mid, but. A lot of places to hide that Rainmaker behind the uh, middle barrier. Yeah, it's not just safe, but you don't see it coming until it's a bit too late most yeah. of the time. Really good team fights. Uh, 
especially when you're trying to defend. I mean, in Raymaker, you're trying not to get snowballed. Uh, three going down uh, on a Joy Cheddar side, but uh, Fortune's only got 10 seconds to get a push going, and they cannot let the Raymaker die again. If they let the Raymaker die again, the game will be over, so. You think they got uh, a rally in their bones? If they can get past mid, they have a chance. Well, they did just uh, get through a couple specials. Only the tactical are up for Age White Cheddar right now. Oh, too aggressive. That's going to cost them. I don't know. They've gotten two oh, picks so far. Three picks. It. Oh, but the Spiling is moving up ahead of everyone. They, that that push was going well. They were getting the picks. Yeah. Uh, it was a bit risky, but you know you have to move somewhat fast um, and you know at least apply pressure. You can't let them get set up. But at that very moment, what we saw, if, if you if you see the map, you see the splatling moving up. They're both of her two teammates. Uh, I think Apple was holding it. Both of their two teammates was behind them, so yeah. uh, can't really uh, you know with nobody defending you, you're going to be an easy target. They played the video game. They sure did, and they and paid off. One team played the video game. The other team also played the video game. Not as well. Stalemate. Not as well. Not a stalemate. There was a there was a victor. <laughs> I don't know if you know that. I don't know if you were here for that. Age White so. Cheddar I taking game played. three. So two games in a row. Two games in a row for Age White Cheddar. They seem to be finding their footing after a uh, a game one loss. I I still think the play for Fortunes is to take them back to this. They can't take them back to Pelotons. I don't. I think. I don't think they take them to Rainmaker though. I think that's just too aggressive of a ma of a of a mode. I think it's going to be too hard for those two spotlings to really get it going, and uh, also sometimes to just defend those pushes. If you think about it, two of the teams named after food, one of the teams named Four Chins. Four Chins is eating the competition. I'm trying to think of a witty response, but honestly, you're just you're just cooking right now. I'm not, I can't keep up. More news at 11. More <laughs> news at 11. What time is it? I don't know. Four. Four. It is 4 p.m. Thank you, production. Uh, so see you guys in seven hours for some news. But for now, we got Splatoon gameplay. Oh, there's probably a segue you can do. Four chins at four o'clock. It's four chins. It's four o'clock. God, so can true. Can you make a joke for that, James? No, I'm too hungry. <laughs> That's the whole reason the I thought of the last to, you're, joke. You're the one trying I to heard Age White Cheddar and I was thinking about food again. I could have spent those $10 on like five Slim Jims. And the other 15 to get in the menu. It costs $15 to get in the menu? Yeah. Shout out to the lab. <laughs> hey, Splatoon fans in the tri state area. This place is pretty cool, actually. Yeah, lab's great. Yeah, good venue. It's a great Splatoon setup. It's just a cool place. Show people. Yeah. can find uh, it on Twitter at bros underscore calamity. Gamers here are very friendly. Oh, yeah, it's great. Not going to lie, I didn't expect that from Pennsylvania. <laughs> <laughs> what are you trying to say? What am I trying to say? I'm trying to say I hate you, James. Yeah. That You're so mean to me. Wait, I'm so nice on stream. Well, um, Fortunes is making a, a different kind of pick here. Tower Control Museum. The, it's all maps that we played. Yeah, this is a map that they All map they mode did, combos yeah. we played. So, again, going with something they do have some experience on, but that didn't work out for them last time. Crab is powerful on this. Crab is very powerful here. The splatlings are hard to get to um, yeah. on that raised platform, but Eris will also have a nice uh, viewpoint of the map from that, from, from Plat. Yeah. Um, or mid, honestly. Mid's, uh, like, top mid. It's good for your leader. Yeah, once they start pushing. Yeah. Um, I think uh, Baki and Shins are going to have to do a really smart job of providing that pressure to get past mid. But once they get a push started, I think they'll be really strong. That's what happened to us. Yeah. Um, I think um, I think if Fortunes can manage to get that opening in mid, not, you know, don't play too aggressive where you're losing that initial fight. I think if they can win that initial fight and, and get, a gig, uh, get the push started early, I think that could set the tone for the rest of the match. If Fortunes gets that tower up on the enemy team's plat, pops a crab on it, I think it's over. That's true. They did that to us. That that crab pressure was crazy. Yeah. And then the spilings, you just you don't really have a way of getting them. You might have to go top left, but top left is a hard spot to be. That section of museum where the tower is over the water carving, 
Whenever I pop a crab on it, I have like Splatoon Run Kraken flashbacks. Yeah. Yeah. That is it. Yeah, that I, I've heard those vibes a lot too. Or I guess it's not over water in this game. Now they uh, they do have the crab on Fortune's side uh, and the 52, which is a really strong weapon. It goes down right away. I think that's probably Eris getting that pick. Rapid Pro coming out. It's interesting. Oh my god. I think Eris is feasting right now. <laughs> that that looked like uh, at least two kills for Eris. I'm not sure who, what the third was, but. Uh, <laughs> um, at least Baki is alive with the crab. That could be something that helps stop the push, but that gonna have to wait for that whale to end. Honestly, it's good that the whale was used then because whale kind of counters crab. He's sucking. He's sucking. Oh, uh, not to suck. So, if whale counters crab, ink fat counters crab. So they got a lot. They got a lot going on. Two, three down on both sides. Yeah. So actually, um, not too bad of a. Oh, of keeping a the push going. Super jumps on the tower. Yeah, that's very smart. Um, especially if that stealth jump. I, I, I don't think. I'm not sure if we can tell from the spectator side, but, you know, keep the pressure up. And, although, good defense from Fortress. Strange wall. Strange wall for sure. <laughs> Aeris just uh, not scared at all of the 52. Knows that the knows that until he's in the range, I got a shot. And shoot or shoot, Aeris lands those shots. Aeris Rapid shoot. throw, an interesting pick to take on the double spiral count. Yeah, I think that's really good, especially um, just ink back is so good right now. At this current state of the meta, I think you're going to see a lot of ink back be very successful, especially on tower. You can basically defend the tower for free once you get a push going. Um, or even, you know, create an opening in mid, whatever the case may be. Two down from Fortune. It's good in a lot of situations. Asia White Cheddar trying to get another push going here. There is one sticking around in mid that they're trying to get rid of, but he's out of position to stop the tower now. He had to go to that left side, so the tower is not very contested. But actually, Three while down. I say that, White. we didn't really get to see what happened, but good job from uh, Fortune. This is their chance to really establish pressure. We already see... Yeah, mid um, taken in seconds. Yeah, Chin and Baki already getting up on that plat. We have the wall ready. We have the crab ready, too. This could be really dangerous. They got two, three picks already. It's only Eris on this top left, and he is under is so much pressure. Eris gets away. But unable to stop the tower from his current position. Will Baki come back to crab on the tower? He's down. Ooh. But they do have the Booyah at the ready. That could help them break the checkpoint. Oh, but someone tower. has to get on tower. The Rapid is oh, on the top right. Oh, ah. does not get the kill in time. They get three kills, but it's two seconds too late. Flying from flats. Yeah, really smart gameplay from the C up. rank. Love that guy. <laughs> I mean, hey, he's doing the work against some of the game's uh, still think it's sweatiest. Smart. You still think it's smart? Yeah, we got Skamaz. They're a secret veteran who just didn't play rank up. Didn't buy Splatoon 2. Rakesh taking this really high position. I'm not sure if uh, Ab Ace Shedder is even aware. I don't see it coming. Very nice. I think he got at least one pick, maybe two. Stopping the push really early there. Another pick, so a 3-3 right now. But um, what what Fortune hasn't been able to do yet is get any mag control. So while uh, while this map is still in Shadow's favor, they can still get these jumps in. They can still kind of really build special and wait for the opportunity to get this push. Lots of pressure on the Splatlings. Two kills both now on both down. Splatlings. We do see the crab at the ready, but he goes down. He was trying to get behind. The 52, though, unable to break through the ink vac. And this might be the lead. The heavies do get back. The heavy is able to get some picks, but they're not able to contest the tower. We saw, I see Chins here going behind the tower, not playing objective. Ooh, three down. Smart aggression from Baki there. Does finally put a stop to the push, but at what cost? One minute left. It is doable. 40 is not. I mean, that's still just getting past the checkpoint. So, I mean, when you put it in that perspective, it's it really is not the biggest push. But and, and there's already two down, so this could be another opportunity. What we haven't seen from Fortune, we haven't really seen that crab get up and going. Yeah. To really extend that lead. I think if the crab comes out at the right time, that could be the difference maker here. We do have it charged up and at the ready. There is three down. It's only the Rapid. They need to find that Rapid. They do. They get the wipeout. That's going to be the lead. Fortune's put in that work. They put on so much pressure with just the heavies. The, the spotlings are riding. Like we said, Chin and Baki working so well up on the front line. Flank from Eris. 
Eris getting two, three Aris picks. destroying them. Eris single-handedly saving the game from being knocked out, but. Think he clipped that? No, I think he's probably too stressed because he has to get a push all the way to 14 in overtime from their base. We do have, oh, the rush on the tower. I'm not sure if that was Baki or Chin, but really smart. Yeah, they, they were not ready for the, the, the rush on the tower. I think he must have came from that left side and snuck his way in. Another good game. These, yeah, these two, teams two. are pretty evenly matched. I'm I'm really impressed by both of them. I, I honestly did not expect this level, a high level competition here in Hatboro. The lab. They've got gamers. They've got gamers. They are developing gamers in this lab. They are. New slogan. They've they got are. gamers. <laughs> <laughs> they are. Uh, it's like a Powerpuff Girl situation. You know, they're sprinkling right. all the ingredients. Mushes in the back. It's a little bit of gamer sweat. <laughs> a little bit of gamer sweat and something nice. Sugar spice and gamer sweat. Here at the lab. Two, two. I wonder. I wonder what H Shutter takes him to here. That's a good question. Like I said, I feel like the counter picks hard on this. I think. I think they looked really good on Rainmaker. I, I wouldn't be surprised if. Yeah. If they go with Rainmaker here. That's got to be in their mind. Is just do they try and force Aris off the Eulity by going with Rainmaker? Yeah. Eight shutter is the one kind of picking. Like oh. Which one's which? Eight shutter is Aeris' team. My bad. Aeris lost so he's, he's yeah. picking map. That is true. You're so silly. You're so smart. You're, you're such a goober. I'm trying my best over here. This is why we lost the games. <laughs> yeah, my bad. Look you can pay on me my $25 anytime. <laughs> <laughs> Plus interest. You know, I'm actually like, I have like no money. Okay. I'm like... Hundred dollars in debt right now. To who? Bank of America. Like my Your accounts boss? in the negative. <laughs> <laughs> what map are we on? I don't think we know yet. <laughs> it is a mystery. You know what? I'm. Uh, I'll, I'll put money on. Mm. We're not gonna see any clan blitz on this up. Uh, I would hope not. For the viewers at home, and if you're wondering, this is a counter pick system. So. Uh, the loser team gets to pick any map or mode as long as it's not the mode they won on last. But other than that, there's no restrictions on the counter pick system. So it's up to the teams to choose what to play on, and uh, I'm just not expecting Clan Blitz. I think Clan Blitz is commonly considered bad. A lot of people don't like it, yes. More than 11. But, also, but it's also just uh, considered probably the, the hardest mode to coordinate as a team on. Um, and it doesn't pick up, so these are both pickups, so I'm not expecting it. Maybe we should have thrown in some clan blitz. I thought about it, yeah. but like I want to have fun. But we were just getting out fragged. That and is that's, true. That's kind of because I'm not losing that situation. I'm telling you, age white cheddar and four chance there's some fraggers. So fucking true, man. All right, we are writing up game five, two two. This is real gaming. I'm excited to see the comps every time. This might be the set of the year. Oh wow! So what do we got? Boing back in the day. Pretty standard. That's wings, yeah. Oh, uh, that's money. Yeah. We've got Splatstones, Hagglefish. Don't hear me. No. Yeah, video games. We got Splatstones, Hagglefish, which uh, we did see. Uh, um, actually, when we played uh, Age of White Cheddar, uh, this is a map that they did win on. Double um, backline, both comps? Yeah, both comps with the. Uh, we got Spiley and E Leader, which they did do before ooh, on this map. Flank. That's, yeah, I think that. Ooh, gets the kill with the jump. <laughs> uh, that's some land lag for you. Spectator things. Ooh, the wipe. Yeah, 4 chain starting off very strong. I think that's going to be one of the most important things here is which team gets the flanks right. If you get the flanks right, you can put, I mean, I think you got like a quad at one point going off the flank uh, in our set. Um, if you get a flank, a good flank, that probably gets you objective. If you die on the flank and, and the team keeps locking you out, you're probably going to get knocked out pretty quick. Hot take I just made up. Is this the new walleye? I honestly think uh, the, the uh, new hammerhead is the new walleye. It's interesting. I think this map was better flanks than while I ever did. Mm. Well, Age White Cheddar was able to recap the zone here. They do call out Chris on the flank, so good job from Boing here on the spiling. 
really paying his attention to where it needs to be. None uh, of the backlines playing the tarp. All of them very aggressive. Yeah, and I think you kind of have to be in the situation because uh, it, it's not it's not that easy to pressure them. Questionable decision there. <laughs> Uh, maybe oh the crab from shins good paint yeah you know with the booyah using all the specials there to really take control i like that um although if you notice uh age boy shadow was able to barely get the lead in that time so yeah. maybe too little too late i mean it's going to be pretty hard to break through either of those penalties if the zone keeps switching back and forth like this and harris like you said with the aggressive positioning they would have found a nice snipe there but being pressured on the side here Two teammates going down from Age White Shatter. So Fortunes is able to recap the zone, push Eris back. But Eris, knowing that they're not pushing that fast, good awareness of the situation, able to stay up, get one of those front lines out. So they're going to not be able to push again. And I think uh, that was, uh, I think uh, Chin just got called out again on the right side of the flank. We saw that, that down. Um, not really getting too much going at all here for Fortunes. Taking a look at Fortune's side of the map here, we do see, you know, there's a Booyah Bomb going on on the left. Uh, although, a uh, nice suction bomb kill and the flank on Aeris from Chin here. That's a big two kills. That's going to get them the objective for free. Wave Breakers down. And Chin just beautiful. playing beautifully. And and what you notice here is that not... Did he think he could climb up those boxes? I thought he was going to. So <laughs> you thought he was moved. going yeah. to? You got tricked? Flats is playing so aggressive, but I think that was good. Just a temporary distraction to get his team to lead, and they still have full control of the zone. Harris is going to try to put the wave record down, get an entry for his team. But if you notice, those splatlings are getting those picks. I don't think uh, Age White Cheddar is playing together enough. Two down on both sides. They are finally having a chance to push them together here, but the Blue Eyes going to stall them out even further. Two more picks down. For Age White Cheddar, we do see a flank on Eris's right, but instead it's actually just the burst bomb that's going to take him out. Three, oh, the Wave Breaker, three, two, two v three situation. The Booyah's going to come it? in, but it's not. Ah, it's too little, too late. They should have Booyahed harder. Yeah, throw it faster, rap. Skill issue. Literally skill issue. Yeah. Why are you holding it for so long, rap? Literally just charge it. Well, Fortune's up three, two, two games in a row for them. And, you know, I, I was saying that spot zones was really good for them. So this doesn't surprise yeah. me, I'll be honest. You were right about the flanks. Is that one flank we saw? Like, From, yeah, uh, yeah, Chin with the end zap on the right side. Actually, the first kill was the bomb kill. Mm -hmm. So I, I don't know what the blunder was there. Maybe pressure from Baki with the burst bombs or the spotlings. Because um, if, if you get stuck in ink, uh, it can be really hard to get away, especially if you're not running ink res. And... Spotlinks throw so many bullets out there. Baki with the burst bombs. There's so many ways to get trapped in the ink. So maybe the, uh, the suction, uh, you know, just able to catch one of them off guard, catch one of them slipping, and then, you know, getting the pick on Aeris, who was one of the most consistent threats. I keep saying it, but both are very high pressure teams. That's something they both do very well. And that's why you see those fights in mid where even if they're not swapping the zone back and forth, they're, they're spacing, they're painting, they're gaming. They are gaming. Yeah, uh, I, I think the mid fights are always really interesting. Um, you know, neither team is really feeding all that often. It's it's always a, a, a big dog fight for mid. Um, and a lot of it comes down in the end to smart special usage. I think that's also something we saw from Fortunes. Um, at, there was one point where we saw the Booyah and then the uh, there was another special that came out. I don't remember what it was. but Lots of tactical ways if that's... Tactical, yeah, Tactical could come out as well after the flank from uh, Chen. Um, so just really good special usage as well on top of the flanks. Um, they're communicating really well. They, they're they working together. For sure, Nothing for is sure. being done on the own. And there were a couple times where I did notice Age Cheddar, there would be maybe one player pushing up alone. And those small differences when when Fortunes is working together that well, those small differences where it, if it turns into a 4v3 situation, that could be all it takes. Solo pushes get punished very hard with both of these comps. That's true. You don't want to be on your own against two back lines. Yeah, you push in alone where those two spotlings aren't being pressured. They're going to look at you, and you're going to die. You're going to question why you did that. You're probably going to have an inner monologue with yourself that lasts the next 15 seconds, which is going to further distract you, causing a domino effect, which then causes you to lose the entire game. 
and uh, potentially have to put your house up in the sale for future due to the uh, devastating effect it has on your mental, which has now affected your job. It's affected your inner relationships with your friends and family. And I zoned out about four words into that. I'm projecting. Mm. I'm hungry. <laughs> uh, well, speaking of the new wallet, I ever had Rainmaker. I think yeah. this is the new wallet. That makes sense. That makes sense. Hammerhead, I mean, this is a map that I think also can be really good for the spotlings. However, if Age White Cheddar does get a push going, there is not a lot of places for the spotlings to be that are safe. It's a fairly momentum-based map. Yeah, it's one of those maps where if you if you know how to snowball and if you know how to push together once you have an opening, it can, it can get out of hand quickly. Yeah, especially by the ramp. Yeah. That one section leading up to yeah, it. Yeah, if you get a push going past after the checkpoint, yeah, that's, that's when it gets dangerous. Yeah. If you can if you can protect the first checkpoint very well, that's a big advantage because it's hard to get past that point. However, um, it looks oh the the booyah bomb getting snuffed out by the hydra. Put two down from both sides. Two down from both sides, but it's it's Aris that picks up the rainmaker here, and that's a dangerous situation. You see. Uh, I think that was down. actually flats pushed up a little too hard. Yeah, and now Chen and Baki working together here. Um, I, I think picking up the Rainmaker in that situation is a mistake. It's a 2v2. You don't have a lot of way to pressure to protect Great the Rainmaker. But like I said, protecting that Rainmaker immediately, that's really impressive defense. Three down from Fortune. Ink back going up. And that's the perfect time to pick the Rainmaker. Great ink back, making sure that nothing can damage. And now you're past the checkpoint. This is where things get dangerous. If you don't stop this push now, it, you might not have a chance. Two down. Yeah. I will say that I, I think, again, they're getting too antsy to pick up the Rainmaker and push it. Yeah. Only getting to 51 there. I, I don't think they were all ready to push up. And I think that's, slow, I think that's what led to the stop of that push. Rap going down early was a big detriment. That's true. And now uh, Fortune actually finding ways to get a pick, although the two, actually two going down there, so um, you're not able to get mid at all. And then a nice snipe from Aeris. It's only the Hydra. Hydra does have Booyah at the ready to potentially stall Fortune out a push. Three down. Taking a while to grab the Rainmaker and make, it, make sure all the members are able to push up, so I like that from them. Finding the pick on the one that was going right from Rainmaker. This is a good chance. This is a good opportunity. Good kill. Eight back. This is going to super protect the Rainmaker. We do see the Booyah coming out, but is it going to be too little too late? All the way up to 10. That's a powerful push on this map. Yeah, and they're still getting picks. Boing does go down, but Baki's in a lot of trouble. Finds the pick on Raph. How do you do it? How is, how is Baki doing this? Get the quad? The Get the quad? Quad. You're better. You're oh better. Oh, my God. But they have to push all the way to nine. He deserves the thirty dollars price. <laughs> he has to put. Honestly, if, if I was out, 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 at least one teammate should give him their price too. Yeah. Give him sixty. And you can split the rest. Give him sixty. You guys can have twenty each. Yeah. That's that's what I think. Boing, not able to find the kill there. Uh, Baki actually. Baki's on the fifty two. I don't know. So that was Chin. That was Chin Whoa. getting that that quad. Full wipe. Yeah, only uh, it's it's a uh, fortune going to have to try to keep this push going out as Age White Cheddar. Who was in the base? Who was killing this? Who was up there? <laughs> is that Chin? Chin's a maniac. What was that? No, was Baki. That was Baki. Was Baki. The weapon choices are Ooh, getting me mixed down? up. This is the oh, oh, right. one point. They did it. One point. There's so much going on right now. That's a crazy game. This, this, I, I'm two minutes left. Like, it could still go either way. But. Yeah, these pushes have been insane. And yeah. honestly, what I'm noticing from, from, uh, Fortunes is that a lot of their offense seems to just be solo pushes almost, or just maybe even just the two front lines going at it. Yeah. Um, I, I, I feel like they are, they, they're confident right now. They, they are in their zone because the, the plays that they're making is insane. If Fortunes wins here, they win the whole set. That'll be game four. That's or true. Four. This is this is Age White Cheddar's back against the wall. They do not have. Uh, they do not. They can't afford another loss here. This is four tournament, and they got to push to eight now. I mean, it's it's doable though. One going down on both sides. 
You see this 52 here, Baki on the left, trying to, just trying to find a way in, using his wall to stay safe for now. And it seems they've 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 lost their attention. One does go down on HY Cheddar side, but Baki finds his opportunity. They've all moved up. He's behind them all, but he uh, kind of gets out of position. How is he still alive? That's what I want to know. Finally, it's up to the Rainmaker to take him out. Two down on Age White Cheddar. 30 seconds left. He has Seven like six seconds. seconds. He has to stay alive Five, with this Rainmaker. Four, you gotta at least three, push it forward. Two, you gotta at least push it forward. He takes his teammate down with him. Flats down with him. No communication with the Rainmaker there, I think. I think that's a just un, just uncoordinated. We've got Baki Sharky on this left side. If, if the team does not pay attention, he is marked, so that will be able to help him out, but will help Age White Cheddar out. What? What? They have the fish. Well, Splatoon 3, everybody. They have the fish. Can we play another game? No, I think... <laughs> they have the fish. Can we, can we just, can we like start the game again, give them the fish, and just see if they can get a push guy? Just give them one push. Paint the map the exact same one to one. <laughs> can, can we recreate this right now? Spend the first four minutes doing that, and then... Fortunes. Yeah, we wrote them out at first. Yeah, I, I, I came here. I looked at their team. I told James. All right, we got We got We just gotta beat Aris too. Yeah. I didn't even consider these guys. I, I called them a warm up. You I mean. called them a warm. <laughs> and they just won the whole the yeah. whole monthly. Tens that I shouldn't say. Things. Four two. Four two. It it they looked. It was dominant a at points. Those were, they were close games. They were close games, but there were just stretches where they looked. I got on a whole other level, to be honest. Yeah. Chen and Baki, both very good slayers, very skilled. The comp that they threw together by accident, incredible. Like, yeah. the, the way the two spotlings worked out, the way they synergized while Baki and Chen synergized, and it all just, like, it was like a real perfect storm in the end. I mean, I guess Baki and Chen are brothers, so they have that locked-in synergy. Is that cheating in a draft, do you think? I mean, we draft with people we know. Yeah, but we're not related. But thanks, guys. I mean, I think I think our le our relationship is on the level personally of like. Right, right. We're, we're like brothers. We're like yeah, like blood, like not blood brothers, but like. Like associates, you know. <laughs> hey guys, hey stream. Uh, fortunes, good job. They did great. Congratulations to Fortunes. Taking uh, the, this monthly. And I, I'm just really impressed. Their, their Slayers worked really well together. The Splatlings did their job yeah. to the T. Like, experienced backlines. Um, and, that, and that was really impressive. I'm not sure the background of these players, but... Um, they live in Philadelphia. But, like, I don't know if they have, like, competitive backgrounds with this game. I don't they, think so. So, turns out that even if you're a competitive player... Uh, you might get messed up. Might there's get there's some hidden gods out there in Hatboro and in, in Pennsylvania. And their names are Baki and Jins, apparently. Well, that's all, folks. Yeah. Well, for Splatoon, we're continuing with other events here. I think, uh, I'm sure production will talk in my ear while I'm talking right now, but I think maybe Doubles is up next for Smash Brothers Ultimate. Yeah, Jack, they, they can hear me. It's like Doubles and Mario Kart after that. and then. Yeah, Doubles is next. Talk us up. Oh, yeah, I'm playing doubles with my good friend Sleepy Jirachi. We don't play this game. We don't play Ultimate. I hope they put us on stream and we get the, you guys get to watch that. Uh, if they don't put us on stream after I said this on stream, I will be kind of upset and I might ask for my money back. I think there's only one other team. That watch right. There's only one other team. You have to stream us now. What's up, guys? Yeah, maybe I should sign Your up. Your move man. production. And if anyone needs me, I will be at Wawa. All right. Feel free to sign off. Or whatever. Well, shout out our Twitters. Oh yeah, we can shout out some what? Come do a group picture before some people are trying to leave. All right, some people are trying to leave. I'm Slimy Quagsire. You can find me right. at Slimy Quagsire. I'm everywhere. Slimy Quagsire. You can this find is, me at Slimy Quagsire. James, comment that so. Bye everyone. Thanks.